today is the first part of an open-ended mission to complete all of the crossings of the River Thames. Big boat. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God, this is really strange. We have to go through the hotel. What's crazy or not? We're waiting for a toy to Prius. Thank you very much. This is such a strange lift. <laughs> we keep going uh, under the and over the river. Thames. So many times I don't even know what's going on. Underground station uh, for our next leg, having just had uh, a very nice lunch. Um, let's head for the Northern Line. I mean, they've got a Northern Line crosses the River Thames from the south to the north uh, between here and the bank. Uh, that is what we are going to do now. Bank station, we're just we're now back on the uh, north side of the river. Uh, I'm just going to figure out what exit we need to take here because oh, this is a new bit of bank station. I'm just trying to find out the exit we need to take here because um, bank station is just a signposted maze, um, and we've got a very specific bus that we need to catch from here. Here's our bus 21 turned up almost straight away. It's really only intended to get the 43, but the 21 will do. We're now crossing a London Bridge, which is uh, yeah, one of the crossing uh, of the River Thames, just east of uh, Tower Bridge. There is Tower Bridge, we were there a minute ago. The Shard, which I believe is the tallest, it's the tallest building in Western Europe when it was built, I'm not sure whether it still is. Also very expensive to go up to go up the shard. Um, <laughs> I, I got the wrong bus. Is this story? Um, Southwark Street. Uh, that could be anywhere down here. In the meantime, I'll leave you to guess uh, what we're uh, where we're going to go next. This here is the base of the shard. It's all the way up there. The train station is just a bit further this way. Again, worked out already what we're going to do is we're going to get a southeastern service uh, from here up to Cannon Street, uh, which will be our next crossing uh, of the River Thames, of course. Cannon Street is just about north of the River Thames, and we are just about south of the River Thames. So let's find the train and let's go do that now. We might end up on a 376, which will be funny, because I really dislike 376s. Cannon Street Platform 9, no, Cannon Street Platform 2, 5 minutes, that'll do. This also, I just love London Bridge, I've said it before, but it's such a nice station. Particularly, oh, this bit of the station is very nice, the National Rail Concourse. Let's also see if we can find the cleaning robot that people have told me about. There's a robot that goes around cleaning stuff here. Oh yeah, here it is. It's currently, um, it's dead at the moment, but, um, I'm sure it'll be moving very soon. Oh, no way, I've got a 466 on this one. Let's see if its traction motors are still working. In fact, we're at the wrong end of the train, but it's eight coaches, so there must be another 466 at the rear, if it's a 465, which it is. And these are among the last examples of uh, the original um, GTO motors on, uh, on these trains. A bit of wheel slip. <laughs> Ding dong. The next station is London Street. It is indeed. That is where uh, we'll be heading next, and we'll be crossing the Thames along the way. And 
bridge. You can see London Bridge, which you just went over. Oh, for God's sake, I have three six of it all trains to help of you. Uh, and, and also a tower bridge in the background as well. Now we're moving into London Cannon Street, having just crossed the River Thames once again. And we're going to be at completely the wrong end of the station, as usual, aren't we? 707 here, though. 707 011. She might be heading off to Slow Green at some point, or Cannon Street via Slow Green at some point. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Why this train is so. Cannon Street, not a very, very nice station. Um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just very dark in here, isn't it? And the clunk as the doors open is also very satisfying. You don't hear that on many trains anymore, do you? Finally, 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 we've been capped. Looks like the reason why I wasn't capped earlier was because I got charged a penalty fare at uh, Limehouse for not touching out, uh, which is silly. They should really put ticket gates on the DLR. Anyway, um, we just come out of Cannon Street Station. This, of course, is Cannon Street itself. Uh, we're going to head to uh, the east on this one because we're coming from the south. Uh, and we're going to head towards Monument Station. We're going to walk there uh, to catch a bus. Uh, to catch us across a um, a bus route which is not shown on the map, I believe, because it's on diversion. Um, yes, that's right, we're going to go across Southwark Bridge next. Um, which, on a map, if you look on Google Maps, City Mapper, it, it does not look like there are any bus routes which go across the bridge, but trust me, there are, and you're about to find out which one. Oh, I said earlier that this shard is really overpriced. Whereas, the tall of the two buildings behind there is 22 Bishop's Gate. That is the second tallest building in London, and it's completely free to go up. So why not do that instead? And the bus is free for four. See, you'd think that we were going across London Bridge. No, we go down here, past the monument to the Great Fire of London. Right past it, it's a brilliant bus if you want to see it. Right, here we go, Southwark Bridge everyone. Um, the, <laughs> the bridge at Google Maps and City Map, I don't think uh, any public transport goes on, but it does. Here we go, turning left on Screen Street Place. Down Southwark Bridge. Seven six arrives into Cannon Street. There, it's quite a quiet bridge, isn't it? Not very many people walking along it. See lots of um, lorries using it. And I'm welcome to the Millennium Bridge. Um, yes, one of the only pedestrian bridges across the central part of the River Thames. It might even be the only pedestrian bridge uh, over the this central part of the River Thames. It's quite an interesting history. Opened in 2000, um, but encountered um, sort of swaying problems, which are you know, <laughs> perhaps a bit exacerbated by the media, but it's actually a really interesting story. Um, so basically what happens is, you know when people walk, they exert a slight horizontal force, right? This caused the bridge to sway, and as these people walked, in order to sort of mitigate the effect of the sway to keep themselves more stable, they started to walk all in step. Uh, and if you know A-level physics, you'll know that's something called uh, resonance, uh, which is basically where the amplitude uh, of these uh, vibrations in the bridge, the swaying of the bridge, doubles. Um, and that is not very good because it meant that the bridge um, swayed um, horizontally by um, a good five centimetres or so, uh, which is not good at all. Um, so it closed only a couple of days after opening. Obviously now um, it's properly safe again, you can walk across it. Um, we can see how much it sways when we walk across it, but I don't think it will very much. Let's have a Tate Modern here, uh, just uh, behind uh, London Bridge in the site of an old power station. I believe this is uh, the most visited attraction in London. The music, the, there's always some musician playing, there's clarinet man before 
was playing like Justin Bieber on the clarinet. It seems like there's a guitar man today. If you come here like late in the evening, eight, nine o'clock, there's a really nice ambience down here. Oh, the side of the River Thames. <laughs> As expected, the bridge does not sway anymore, uh, laterally. Anyway, what we're going to do now, we can see those bridges over there. There are actually two of them. You can go on the other. Uh, that's Black Forest Station. What we're going to do now is head to Black Forest Station and cross the tapping at one end, tap out the other end. That counts as one crossing of the River Thames because Black Forest Station spans the entirety of the River Thames. And here we are at uh, London Black Forest. Looks like the barriers are open, so we won't need to touch in because we're <laughs> straight out of the station. Oh, there's a 377 here. South Eastern also do come to Black Forest. This Black Forest recently renovated, I'm not too sure uh, whether it was for the Sending project or it might have been shortly before that. Yeah, stretches the entire length of the Thames. It's a very, very, very good place to get photos. Got a Sutton train just behind me. So I'm on just 034. Our next crossing over Thames is the road bridge just alongside uh, right now, which is uh, Black Forest Bridge. Here we are, it turned out to be quicker to walk across the bridge and get a bus. Um, you can see City of London and also Black Forest Station with the uh, 377 still in there uh, as well. If we look on this side of the bridge, you can see the next crossing of the River Thames, you might be able to see that in the distance, uh, Waterloo Bridge. However, uh, it looks like the next crossing is Waterloo Bridge, and uh, there's one more crossing in between, and that is the Waterloo and City Line. Uh, which is a really annoying one to do uh, because um, we, need, we need to go to uh, Bank uh, to do that one uh, and so once we've just about got across the river back to the north side uh, we're going to get the district line uh, over to uh, Cannon Street and then from there uh, we'll get the uh, walking city line from Bank uh, south and uh, to Waterloo See it safe. We nailed the exit on that one. Cannon Street, except we're not uh, changing for National Rail here, as I often do. <laughs> if you watch my All Eyes Challenge videos, you'll know. Um, it's a five minute run uh, between the district line platforms and the Waterloo City line uh, at Bank Monument. Uh, which is something that I quite like to avoid. And usually, when we do the All Eyes Challenge, it's either late in the evening or a Saturday. Um, so the Warbrook entrance isn't usually open, but now because it's a weekday and it's before five o'clock, we should be able to um, head through it. We just need to find uh, the entrance. Yeah, Warbrook is just this road up here, so we're not far at all. I believe that's the tube entrance just up there. This is brand new, uh, well not brand new, but new-ish. Well, it's nice to walk through in City Line. We should be very, very close to walk through in City Line platform, so we might even be able to make it for. Oh, and we're not going to make it for the 7 train, are we? This is so useful for all lines change. So we have the walk through in City Line. Once owned by British Rail and Network South East, it's now, of course, part of the London Underground. If you can see on the floor, you might be able to see some of the old Network South East logos. It still seems very strange to have a National Rail line. There's one of the network selfies so logos you can see on the floor there. What's more to do? South of the river now. From here, we're going to go across Waterloo Bridge, which is our next road bridge we're going across. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it on a bus. Um, there are plenty, plenty of buses from Waterloo Station itself. I 
level, it's got the Hungerford Bridge, this is where Charing Cross Station is, we've still got a bit to go, uh, one, I think one more crossing to until uh, the Hungerford Bridge, so there is a tube line uh, that runs between, there might even be two tube lines that, uh, that run between here and uh, the Hungerford Bridge. Okay, we've made it to Embankment. Uh, I've got a question for you. Uh, which line uh, do you think is quickest to get from Embankment to Waterloo? Is it the Bakerloo line or is it the Northern line? The answer is the Northern line. Uh, they're obviously the Bakerloo line and the Northern line. The Northern line is quicker and it is very slightly further east. Uh, hence why uh, we're getting that today. We will of course do the Bakerloo line in a minute. Uh, in the middle we've also got the uh, Bridge on Charing Cross to the Hungerford Bridge. Uh, the pedestrian slash and barrel bridge um, that lies in between uh, the Northern Line and the Bakerloo line tracks. I can hear a train, see if we can make it. Northern Line train, the next station is Waterloo. Change here for Bakerloo, Jubilee and Waterloo and City Line and National Rail Services. Exit for Riverboat Services from Waterloo Pier. Very nice. I believe we're going to walk across to Charing Cross uh, Station now. Uh, just to check uh, the map, um, I'm not too sure what we're doing next. I believe we're walking across the bridge, but we could be going to Waterloo East. As we swing past the Royal Vestibule Hall, it's time to our next crossing of the River Thames, which I can just see above these stairs up here. Uh, this is South Bank Centre, a massive art centre. Um, we have the Hungerford Bridge and I believe it's the Golden Jubilee Bridge. It's quite a good place to watch trains as they come into uh, Charing Cross, actually. Here we are, you can see the railway bridge uh, on our left hand side, you can see the bridges are joined together, it is one structure, <laughs> yeah, so do not discount me for not going across that bridge because it is all one bridge. But perfectly on cute, it sounds like we do have a train coming for us, yep indeed it is an outworker, 46021 heading southbound. I believe the last time I've been on this bridge must have been six years ago, um, back in 2016. Um, it was one of the first train spotting videos that I recorded uh, back in the very, 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 very old uh, CSM train spotting days. But yeah, you've got lovely views across here as well. Yeah, look at that. That is Waterloo Bridge, which has just gone across. Uh, the Northern Line would have gone somewhere. Uh, in between uh, where we are now and Waterloo Bridge. That's even another network are coming into uh, Charing Cross. Charing Cross station actually looks quite cool from a distance. It's quite Star Warsy. Thames clip heads off. See, find ourselves going back at the end of the Thames, uh, back at Embankment. Uh, from Embankment, we're going to be getting the Bakerloo line uh, southbound uh, back down to Waterloo. Once again, however many times we've been to Waterloo today, um, this 45 has just opened its doors here at Charing Cross. This is a bit familiar. Here comes our train, uh, Bakerloo line train, which we're taking to Waterloo. Oh, terminating at Waterloo, Bakerloo line train. That's interesting. Anyway, we're going to uh, head just at one stop to Waterloo today. And these really, really comfy seats. Thank <laughs> you. 
degrees. Well, it, mind the gap, yeah, definitely. Look at that gap. Um, uh, we've got the Jubilee line changing here. Um, one of the most annoying interchanges on the tube is any other line to the Jubilee line here at Waterloo. Uh, for some reason, on the uh, Jubilee line extension, uh, the Jubilee line was built miles away from all the other tube lines. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, for our final crossing of the River Thames today is take the Jubilee line, uh, uh, just one, in fact, two stops over to Green Park, so it's easy for me to get home. It's a long walk. Finally, we're here. Oh, we've got West Hampstead train. And yes, for our final, very final crossing of the River Thames today, we'll be crossing between uh, Waterloo and Westminster. This is uh, this bit is a strange part of the Thames where the Thames runs uh, north to south. Uh, so there's actually the uh, western side of the Thames and the eastern side of the Thames. So we're technically now crossing from the eastern side of the Thames to the western side of the Thames. Now I have a train from Finsbury Park in about in half an hour's time. Will I be able to make it? All of them got poppies on. All the tube lines got poppies on. Busy, 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 this one. Change here for the Bakerloo, Morden, and Waterloo. Okay, we're now north of the river. Or west of the river. So we are joined by the Jubilee Line Bunch to try and cross. We are uh, now arriving into Green Park. The reason we're finishing here is simply because it's easy for me to get home. Anyway, that concludes our final river crossing of the day. Just like to say thank you very, very much for watching this video. I really do hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you did, then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content. Uh, I look, look forward to welcoming back to the channel very soon. Hopefully I'll make my train from Finsby Park. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.